The objective within this lesson is to make equivalent fractions with the number line, area model, and numbers. Here is a number line. Let's label the whole numbers on this number line, 0 and 1. Halfway in between, 0 and 1 is 1 half. We have 0 halves, 1 half, and 2 halves. Here we are making area models. First one here is 1 half. For our other area model, let's shade in the half and draw a horizontal line. By drawing our horizontal line, I now have 2 out of 4, or 2 fourths. With our numbers, I will show that as 1 times 2 and 2 times 2. Notice that this is 1 half, and then the times 2 and times 2, which does equal 2 fourths. Do the same thing here. But this time, we'll look at what we do when we go 1 half times 3. So we'll draw two horizontal lines to divide it into three parts. And you'll notice that three out of the six of those are shaded. Your turn to try. Go ahead and make an equivalent fraction here. 1 half, and this time, go times 4. How many lines are you going to draw? and 1 half times 4 over 4 is equal to 4 eighths. How many lines did you draw? 1, 2, 3 lines to divide it into 4 parts. Therefore, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we have 1 half times 4 in the numerator and times 4 in the denominator to be able to get 4 eighths. Let's make some equivalent fractions to one-third. The entire area model is one. We'll just label that. For our first one, let's draw one horizontal line. When we draw one horizontal line, we've divided it into two equal parts. So we multiply by 2 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator. 1 times 2 is 2, and 3 times 2 is 6. For our other one, let's go ahead and show and model where we have 3 times the amount of parts by drawing 2 lines, and then we get 3 ninths. So 1 third is equal to 2 six, and is also equal to 3 ninths. Can you draw one? Can you draw for one-third equaling times four and times four in the numerator and denominator? What would you get? You would get four-twelfths. And there's our model, what it would look like. Four out of the twelve are shaded in where we drew three horizontal lines. Here's a number line for thirds. We have our whole number 0 and 1, and then we can draw two lines to divide it into three parts. Let's label the thirds. 0 thirds, 1 thirds, 2 thirds, 3 thirds. We just looked at making equivalent fractions for one-third. Now we're going to look at making equivalent fractions for two-thirds. Okay, here is an aerial model for two-thirds, where we took a hole, drew two vertical lines to divide it into three parts, and shaded in three, two of those, excuse me, two of those three parts for two-thirds. Now to make an equivalent fraction, what equivalent fraction did I just make? I took two-thirds 
and multiplied by 2 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator to get 4 6. If I draw two lines, I want 2 thirds times 3 and times 3 to be able to get 6 ninths. I could do the same thing again. Take 2 thirds and multiply by 4 in the numerator and denominator to be able to get 8 twelfths, as you see here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 out of the 9, 10, 11, 12. Our next one is to look at fractions that are bigger than 1. So here we have a fraction that is equal to 5 fourths. Let's take a look at it on a number line first, where we're thinking about fourths. So we have 0, we have 1, and let's divide it into fourths first. Four equal parts. And then let's draw it out. We have 0 fourths. 1 fourths, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths, and we would need one more fourth past 1 to get to 5 fourths. Let's model how to make an equivalent fraction that is bigger than 1. Here's your area model. There's 1 made into force. That's already 4 force, so we need another area model. So we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 force. How would we, it's much the same way that we modeled this, by multiplying by 2 in the numerator and denominator, we draw one horizontal line for each. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 eighths, 9 eighths, 10 eighths. So 5 fourths is equivalent to 10 eighths.